Nothing to do with me being saved. That's right. Nothing. It's just giving me some history of what went on there. That's right. It, it, it have nothing to do with me being baptized and receiving the Holy Please Ghost and the speaking in tongues. Somebody say, well, Pastor Dennis, the whole Bible has to do with you being born again. It does not. No, not all of it. No. It does not. Amen. The whole Bible don't deal with being born again. Oh, the no. Bible gives you his history of various things that took place like the book of Maccabees. That's right. The book of Maccabees itemized various events that took place in the lives of the Jews. That's right. That's Ain't got right. nothing to do with me making the first resurrection and I must tarry for the Holy Ghost. Not that. This is a faithful saying. Listen at this. In the book of Titus chapter 3 and at verse 8. Yes. This is a faithful saying. This is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly. That what? That they which have believed in God. They which believe in God. Might be careful to maintain good works. You better be careful. That's right. You better be careful. Might be careful. All right, let's go back to Kings again and go back to Jeremiah. So I, I want to just itemize some things here mm -hmm. uh, to straighten out the devil. And that's what the devil do. Here we are in the midst of a pandemic. <laughs> folks is right. dying on their way to hell. And even in the midst of this, the yes. devil know because some folks is not in the church or not going to church to hear the word of God. They already weak as they can be. That's and right. then they go on internet searching. Right. And then a jack leg pop up. And then they get into some spirit list and that a liar and they just jerk it. That's right. False prophet say, well, there, it's not like that in some of the books of the 66. It's not. It's not. Mm. You don't know what you're talking. That's right. Let's go back to Kings and Jeremiah again. Back in 2 Kings 25 and verse 8. Yes. And in the fifth month, uh -huh. on the seventh day of the month, yes. which is the 19th year of King Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon. All right. Now in Jeremiah chapter 52 and at verse 12. What is it? Now in the fifth month. In the fifth month. In the tenth day of the month. In the tenth day of the month. Which was the 19th year of Nebuchadnezzar. What happened? King of Babylon. Came Nebuchadnezzar, captain of the guard. Do you see this? Amen. What am I going to do? Indict kings? Hmm. And indict Jeremiah? I'm not a fool. No, no. <laughs> give me the book of Samuel. Second Samuel. Second Samuel. Six twenty-three. Right. Amen. And then give me Second Samuel, twenty-one and eight. Amen. Let's see this Saul daughter having the children, or the Saul daughter didn't have no children. Amen. <laughs> Let's see the Saul daughter have children. Or did Saul daughter not have no children? Amen. All right, Second Samuel. Second Samuel. Sixteen twenty-three. Second and Samuel. then we get Second Samuel. 21 and 8. Amen. Listen. 2 Samuel 6 and verse 23. Listen. Therefore, Michelle, the daughter of Saul. Listen at this. Therefore, Michelle. The daughter of Saul. The daughter of Saul. Had no child. Had no child. Unto the day of her death. Wait. She didn't have no children. No till, children. Till the day of what? Unto the day of her death. All right. Now let's get 21 and 8 of 2 Samuel. Now in 2 Samuel 21 and verse 8. But the king took the two sons of Rizpah, the daughter of Ahiah. Yes. Whom she bare unto Saul. Yes. Armani and, Mis and Mephibosheth. Yes. And the, five, and the five sons of Michelle. And the five sons of Michelle. The daughter of Saul. Hmm. <laughs> Amen. But what did 623 say? Therefore Michelle, the daughter of Saul, had no child. But what the 21st chapter said? And the five sons of Michelle, the daughter of Saul. Well, I guess you're going to throw away Samuel too, false prophet. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see, when they jump on the truth of God, we can take you for a ride. Amen. Shoot you with scripture, then throw your body on the side of your false church you come from. That's right. That's right. The Bible don't give you a lot of information about many things. No. Not at all. Oh, no. That's like the Bible don't give you all detailed information about Jesus. That's right. You got an 18-year gap. Think of it. All right. That's Mr. Right. Apostle, let's see. Can you wiggle out of this scripture? I'm going to quote it to you. Jesus, Jesus, who is God, shone the light down from heaven upon Brother Paul. Brother Paul was on the road to Damascus and those that was with him That's right. heard a voice. And the men which journeyed with him. I, I want you to listen at this. I want to see is, you know, can this be unraveled? I, I can see clearly. All right. In Acts chapter 9 and at verse 7. Real quick. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless. Yes. Hearing a voice. Hearing a voice. But seeing no man. All right. It says there they heard a voice and they didn't see nobody. That's right.
But now he come bring that testimony to King Agrippa. Acts chapter 22 and at verse 9. And says what? And they that were with me saw indeed the light. And what? And were afraid. But they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. But when he experienced it, what did he say? Hearing a voice, but seeing no man. When he told King Agrippa what he said. But they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. So what are you going to tell me now? They contradicting itself? <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Let them alone. Let them alone. The blind lead the blind what? Both shall fall into the ditch. Second Kings 24 and 8. Amen. And then Second Chronicles 36 and 9. Amen. <laughs> Folks don't know this is in the Bible. Oh, Pastor Jenny shouldn't bother the book of Joshua because of the day. Listen, if the prophets made reference to it, I'm going to bother it and I'm going to lay in it. Lay in it. Amen. And if you say throw that away, then you better throw away what we're about to read here also. Amen. Follow me in the Bible, 2 Kings. 2 Kings 24 and 8. 24 and 8 and then 2 Chronicles. Mm -hmm. All right, 36 and 9. Come on and listen closely. All right. 2 Kings 24 and verse 8. Yes. Je Jehoiachin was yeah, 18 years old. Yeah, I want you to focus old. on what the Bible says about Jehoiachin. Amen. All right? Jehoiachin was 18 years old. Jehoiachin was 18 years old. Well, eight was 18 years old. When he began to reign. When he began to reign as I king. I want you to focus on that age. Amen. He was 18 years old 18. when he began to reign. Amen. All right, now, look at what 2 Chronicles 36 says. 2 Chronicles 36 and 9. 2 Chronicles 36 and verse 9. Yes. Jehoiachin was eight years old when he began to reign. Oh, you said it's just like that in Jasher. Amen. No, it's not. No. Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he began to reign. There's nothing I can do with that. That's right. All I can do is preach it and leave it alone. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Amen. I'm not going to charge God. No way. Not at all. Oh, no. You don't know whether it can be a typographical error. I'm going to leave it alone. That's I'm right. not going to tell someone, well, you know, you shouldn't believe. Just throw it away because, you know, I, 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 I'm confused. That's your confusion. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's you. That's, that's I you. will never talk so loosely no way. about what's written in the book. But avoid foolish questions. Avoid it. Amen. Avoid. Folks done the same thing with Matthew 20 and 19. Yes, Go ahead, therefore, and teach all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And then Peter come along and said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. So which should you do? Amen. An old dumb preacher would say, I'd rather obey Jesus then obey Peter. When you obey Peter, you obey, obey Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Because Jesus said to his apostles, he that heareth you. Heareth me. He hear me. That's right. Listen, if you think the teaching of Jesus is just red letters in your Bible, no. Oh, no. Because in some Bibles, the letters are not red. It's blue. <laughs> Amen. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. You think the sayings of Jesus is just red letters? Not so. Oh, no. All right, let's go back to Kings 24 and 8 about Jehoiachin. Mm -hmm. Let's get that again. Back in 2 Kings. And then Kings. let's get Chronicles 36 and 9. Back in 2 Kings 24 and verse 8. I'm taking this route to educate you. Yeah. Man. Jehoiachin. Because if that's the only argument that you can make to try to debunk the book of Joshua, you better debunk the Bible, period. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Jehoiachin was 18 years old. He was 18 years old. When he began to when reign. When he began to reign. And he reigned in Jerusalem three months. All right. Now in 2 Chronicles 36 and verse Yes. Nine, Jehoiachin was eight years old. And what? When he began to reign. 2 Kings 8, 26 and then 2 Chronicles 22 and 2. Amen. I want to work on Ahazia. Mm. Let's see what, you didn't know all this was in the Bible, did you? No. Mm. All right, I want to get this. I want to soak you a little. Amen. And you just keep watching these old frauds that call themselves preachers. You <laughs> repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Ghost. See, that's the danger. That's when the you danger. listen at these false prophets because he says he's an apostle, the devil used them. Yes, he will. To pray upon the weak and the blind. If some of you will stop jerking so much and jumping so much and shouting so much and get settled in the word of God, nothing and nobody can come along and uproot you from what is written here. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, let's get a haze here. Second Kings at 8 and verse 26. All right. Two and 20 years old. Focus on the language. Amen. Two and 20. What do you mean? 
22 years old. Two and twenty years old was a hazier. Twenty-two he, years old was a hazier when he began to reign. When he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. And he reigned one year. Let's focus on that. Twenty-two years old. Amen. That's what is written in the book of Kings, Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Twenty-two. Amen. Verse two. Second Chronicles twenty-two and at verse two. Listen. Forty and two years old. What? Forty and two years old. Forty-two years old was a hazier when he began to reign. Well, what you gonna do with it? What you gonna do with that? You gonna throw out kings or you gonna throw out chronicles, Amen. Mr. Apostle? Amen. Wow. Go ahead, brother. But you had something, didn't you? <laughs> That's right. And you, some of you young people in the truth of God, right. listening at this devil, yeah, who's calling the Bible wrong, that's blasphemy. Amen. Now I beseech you, brother. Do you hear the Bible talking in Romans 16 and at verse 17? Now I beseech you. There's brother. one place. God said, I'm a God, I don't change. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, man. One place he said, I'm a God. Go ahead. And I don't change. Don't change. Amen. But yet he changed his mind and didn't destroy Nineveh. That's right. Now, you're going to tell me God is not consistent? Mm. You dumb, ignorant hellions. <laughs> Amen. Leave the Bible alone. That's it. That's it. You don't understand it? Leave it alone for your blaspheme. That's right. That's it. He said, I'm a God that change not. For I am the Lord. Listen at this. Malachi chapter 3 and at verse 6. I am the Lord. I change not. I don't change. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. But yet, he come along. That's right. And said, I'm going to destroy Nineveh. Yeah. Jonah made it clear he didn't want to go. That's right. That's right. But he changed his mind. Change, changed. I'm using these as examples. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scripture says mm -hmm. that God will not hear Amen. a sinner's prayer. That's right. That's right. And that what he said? That's right. How many here was a sinner that God heard? Say amen. Amen. Hey, leave the Bible alone amen. before you blaspheme. Go ahead. Now we know that God here is not sinners. Wait a minute. Look, look, <laughs> out, look how certain. Amen. Look how certain it's written here. St. John chapter 9 and at verse 31. We know. Now we know that God here is not sinners. That God here is not sinners. But. But if any man be a worshiper of God, if any man be a worshiper of God, and doeth his will, and do his will, him he heareth. I want to say, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. Amen. I wasn't doing God's will when he heard me. Yes, you was. Yeah. What was I doing, Pastor Jennings? You humbled yourself. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, hallelujah. That's you right. humbled yourself. That's right. Glory to God. God, hallelujah. Glory to God. When you humbled yourself, then that heart became oh, yeah. broken. That's right. And contrite. That's right. And then God hallelujah. began to pay you some attention. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You think God hear you? Amen. Only when you're baptized and have the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. He hear you before then. That's right. Somebody say, well, how was that? And that that sinner started getting tired of the way he or she living, asking God, Lord, I, I want to be saved. That's right. I want to be right. That's it. And then God make a way for that man and for that woman to hear the right information. That's right. The Lord said. Whether it's by internet, Please. whether it's by radio, whether by television, whether they meet somebody. That's right. The Lord said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. The Lord says what? The Lord Give said. Give chapter and verse. First Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. Wait a minute. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. First Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. When he read that, the Lord brought a scripture to me in the New Testament. Uh, read that, William. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 12. What is that? spake Solomon. Then said Solomon, the Lord says, the Lord says that he would dwell in the thick dark. The Lord says he would dwell in thick dark and thick, no thick, thick dark. darkness. Amen. But wait a minute. 
the Lord said to the apostle, mm -hmm. there is no darkness in him My Lord. at all. That's right. This then is the message. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. In chapter and verse. First John chapter 1 and at verse 5. If you was an apostle, you would know better. You would leave the Bible alone. That's right. That's right. And all of you that's sending this little recording of King Tut. <laughs> You are go to hell with him. Teach it, teach it. Teach it. That's why I keep telling the but I understand my over why Jesus said, let them alone. Let them alone. Let them alone. That's right. That's what he said. Anytime they blaspheme in the Bible and you agree with it, you are equal blasphemer. That's right. Telling me, leave the pastor Genesis wrong for the book of Joshua. I'm wrong for it. I didn't write it. Didn't write it. That's right. But don't do your hollering on internet, Mr. Apostle King Tut or Ramses, whoever you are. Amen. You come jump on Pastor Jennings. Amen. Thank God I'll pull all the African feathers out of you. That's right. What did the word of God say? It goes for you that's in the truth of God to always listen at these false prophets on internet Amen. and social media. Yeah. And then you want to have meetings with me or one of the ministers in your area because now you all confused all and messed confused up. up. You should have obeyed Jesus. That's right. Jesus let, said, let, them, let alone. them alone. Let them alone. Let them alone. Am I right, sir? That's right. Let them alone. That's right. Leave them alone. Let them alone. Hard head. Amen. Don't you know the rebellion is as the spirit of witchcraft? That's right. That's right. Jesus knows what's best for us. Amen. Jesus recommend. Let them alone. Let them alone. They be blind, they be leaders, blind of the blind. leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, what happened? Both shall fall we into go the to hell with them. That's right. Yeah, false right. pride. I see the devil, he always got something to try to discredit oh, God. Honor. Right. Here's God said, my God don't change. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't change. Change not. And then he changed his mind about the destruction of Nineveh. That's what right. am I going to do? Indict God? Amen. I'm not responsible for what God said. Oh, no. I'm not responsible for nothing that's written in the Bible. No. Nothing. Nothing. It's written. That's I'm it. going to preach it. <laughs> how, right. how much of it, Pastor Jenner? All of it. All of it. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Let's give me Matthew 27. Amen. Verses 13 and verse 14. And then give me John 18, verses 33 and verse 34. Amen. Matthew 27. Did Je I want to see that Jesus answered him. Or oh, he didn't. <laughs> Give me Matthew 27, verse 13. Matthew 27 and, and verse, verse 14. And verse 14. Yes, and then I want John chapter 18, mm -hmm. verses 33 and verse 34. Follow me and get me so I can educate you. Matthew 27, verses 13 and 14. Yes. Then said Pilate unto him. Then said Pilate unto him. Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? Do you see all this stuff they saying about you, Jesus? And he answered him. And he answered him to never a word. Jesus wouldn't say nothing. In so much that the governor marveled greatly. Even the governor marveled that Jesus being quiet. Amen. Pilate, just look, you see what they've said about you? The indictments they're bringing on you? Jesus kept quiet until the, until the governor. Amen. He marveled at his quiet. Then said Pilate unto him. Then said Pilate to him. Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? Yes. And he answered him to never a word. Yes. In so much that the governor marveled greatly. Yes. All right. Now John 18, 33 and 34. John 18, verses 33 and 34. Yes. Then Pilate entered in, into the judgment hall again. Yes. And called Jesus and said unto him. Yes. Art thou the king of the Jews? Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him. Saying that thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it of thee? Yes. But what happened in Matthew? And he answered to him never a word. You it's, see, amen. the mistake that many people make, they think that all the scriptures are written in ABC order. Right. A good example. By the time Cain went to the city of Nod on the east of Eden, That could not be immediate. That's right. So I say, why not, Pastor Jennings? Because the Bible said it was a city. That's right. And if it was a city, you had to have members of the human family to build.
build it. To build it. That's right. But yet when you read the scriptures, you want to read about Adam, Eve, Cain, and Abel. And Abel. Then you read about Cain murdering his brother. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain. Then Cain wanders around for a while and come to the city of Nod on the east of Eden. How did the city get there? That's right. Adam and Eve didn't build no city. That's right. So many things in the Bible is not itemized in ABC order. Amen. We don't know how, much, how many years it was. How many years? From that time until then. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, 1 Kings 7 15. 1 Kings. 2 Chronicles 3 15. Amen. I just want to educate you. Amen. Throw away the book of Joshua. Use a fool. A Samuel. Reference to it and Joshua, and here's some old latter day false prophet gonna tell the people, throw it away. Well, you know, I ain't paying you no mind, mm -hmm. and anyone that pay you some mind is a fool just like you. Amen. Listen, Second Kings chapter 7 and verse 15. All right, let's see. I want you to focus on the cubits, the measurements. Mm -hmm. All right, Second Kings chapter 7 and verse 15. Yeah, for he cast two pillars of brass of 18 cubits high a piece 18 cubits high a piece and a line of 12 cubits all right now second chronicles 3 15. second chronicle second chronicles chapter 3 and verse 15. all right also he made before the house two pillars of 30 and dealing with the cubits. same thing he did what and also he made before the house two pillars of 30 and 5 cubits high. Yes. And the chapter that was on the top of each of them was 5 cubits. But wait a minute. 2 Kings 7.15 says. For he cast two pillars of brass of 18 cubits high a piece. Oh, 18 cubits high a piece. But Chronicle said. Also he made before the house two pillars of 30 and 5 cubits. 35 cubits high. Amen. Amen. And then when the smoke clear, where do we end up? All oh, scripture. That's right. Do you see what I'm talking? That's right. Oh, you know what? In the book of Isaiah, I can't remember the chapter and the verse right now. It, it slips my memory. The prophet, by God's permission, said the ways of the Lord strange. is strange. strange. Let me say to every human that walked the planet, do not. Trying to analyze God by your puny thinking. That's right. Who am I? When did I get so big? When did I get so holy? That I would tell God, this is what you should have said. <laughs> this is the way you should have said it. Amen. This is what you should have done. If I was you, Lord, this is how I would have done it. Shut up! Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord? What? In Isaiah chapter 40 and at verse 13. Who hath directed? The spirit of the Lord. God's spirit. Or being his counsel. Or being his advisor. Hath taught him. Hath taught him. With whom took he counsel? Who did God get counsel from? And who instructed him? Who instructed your Lord? And taught him. And taught him. In the path of judgment. And taught him knowledge. And taught him knowledge? And showed to him the way of understanding. And showed him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Wait a minute. Amen. What is our net worth? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. You, you listen. You're so worthless. You're like a drop in a bucket. All nations before him are All as nothing. nations before him are as what? Are as nothing. That's why make me preach so hard, because I'm looking at a world of nothingness. And, and they are counted to him. And they're counted to him. Less than nothing. Amen. Listen. Amen. We can't go no further than nothing. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. We. Amen. You know we'll tell somebody, man, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Only God can dwindle you down lesser Amen. than a zero. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. God dwindles you down less than a zero and mm -hmm. say, well. This is what I think of you. And they are counted to him. They are counted to him. Less than less. nothing. Amen. Less than nothing. Less than nothing. Anytime you less than a zero, I, I don't know what to do with you. That's right. Jesus said, let them alone. Let them alone. You followers of the truth of God. Amen. I don't care if it's two or three or four of you. That's right. Learn the way of holiness. That's it. Master how to live right. Amen. Stop trying to handle the Bible. Amen. Trying to open up scriptures that you can't understand before right. you blaspheme. That's right. That's right. Amen. Trying to dive into deep things. Amen. 
When I was in elementary school, I had a swimming instructor, Mr. Fedor. Remember Fedor Williams? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was a militant swimming instructor. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> when you didn't know how to swim, he made you jump in 12 feet of water. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I had, we had to, a test. We had to jump in 12 feet of water, go on the edge of the diving board. Jump in 12 feet of water and uh, go to the bottom, spring up, and come to the top. Mm -hmm. And I remember this white sister. To this day, I remember her. Her name was Mabel. <laughs> but Mabel was not able. <laughs> Mabel jumped off that diving board, went down, and came up, but then went back down again. And Mr. Vador literally cussed that. She couldn't swim. She was paddling. <laughs> Mr. Vador said, paddle. <laughs> paddle. Pad she <laughs> and everybody wondering, when are you going to save her? Amen. Now, viewers, Amen. I'm here to save you from biblical embarrassment. <laughs> That's right. Always. That's right. Handle the scripture where you're on the good side of God. That's right. If you don't know how to handle the scripture, leave them alone. Le leave it alone. Sitting on the phone, emailing. I don't know who it was. Even contact my son Reds with this folly. Wow. I told my son, whoever it was that called you, tell him I don't want to hear it. Amen. Leave the Bible alone. That's right. I told him, tell whoever it was, tell him go tarry for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. Try to live right. That's it. Leave the Bible alone. That's right. And leave these false prophets alone. That's Jesus it. said. Let them alone. Give chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 15 and at verse 14. Jesus said. Let them alone. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Amen. Let them alone. That's instructions given to us. That's right. Leave these things alone. Let them alone. Going around trying to itemize the Bible and then a, a, a false prophet who hatch out of a cockatrice egg <laughs> come along and tell you, throw away the book of Jasher. My Lord. That's a genesis of false prophet for mm -hmm. preaching out the book of Jasher. Well, Amen. Joshua must be a false That's prophet. Right. That's right. And so Samuel. must be Samuel. Samuel. That's right. He must be a false prophet too then. That's right. Any man Amen. that speak ill in no wise. Listen at this. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4 and at verse 25. All right. In no wise. In no wise. Speak against the truth. Amen. In no wise. Speak against Shut the truth. Shut your mouth. That's right. Well, I don't understand it. Be quiet. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Why would God say this? Why would God say that? That's God business. Amen. In no wise speak against the truth. I'm not going to say nothing. Amen. Well, what you going to do about it, Pastor Jennings? Preach it. <laughs> That's it. Well, what going to do? He's going to read it, then I'm going to preach it afterwards. That's right. That's right. I'm not responsible Amen. for the contents of the scripture. That's right. Because if I was responsible. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 if I was responsible, Amen. and every time someone tampered with the Bible wrongfully, wrongfully. I make them out of a sign, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everyone that sees them would be like, oh, they tampered with the Bible. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. I, I'd make your head turn as large at a, as a medicine ball. My Lord. I'd make your arm be as long as the nose of an elephant. Amen. I'd make your feet as big as elephants' feet, Amen. but they'd be attached to legs as skinny as a crane. And then I'd make you walk down the street with your eyes big as grapefruits. And when folks see you, he, 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 he contaminated the word of God. He followed the word of God. The word. That's right. Because when you look at something like that, you know they've done something. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, "Let them alone." You know, I'm, I'm fully in the truth of God. Fully in. I'm fully in it. Glory right. to God. Uh, Amen. I am not persuaded, nor am I interested at the cheap, wretched doctrine that 
come out of the mouths of false prophets who try to discredit God and his word. And that goes for you preachers too. That's not sound. Amen. Amen. I don't even consider That's right. that rotten and damnable things that come from false prophets. Be I don't steadfast. even want to consider it. That's right. The word of God says. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and at verse 10. What is that? Be, be steadfast. Be, the, fle be flexible. Be steadfast. Be flexible. Be steadfast. Be steadfast. In thy understanding. <laughs> Amen. By the, what God made known unto me, I'm steadfast in it. That's right. Hmm? That's right. If Samuel, if, if the book of Joshua was good enough for Joshua okay. and Samuel to make reference to, Amen. it's good enough for us to make reference to. That's right. Huh? That's right. The word of God says, let them alone. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And you better follow those instructions and Amen. obey what Jesus said. That's right. Amen. Amen. You don't need to go call them Patrick Jennings because you all confused now. You should have been obedient. Let them alone. Now you got to ask yourself, did you blaspheme? Because if you blaspheme after you've been taught this, I can't help you. That's right. I don't care if you are in the truth of God. Right. Any time a man tell you, throw the Bible away. After God told Ezekiel, eat the whole roll. Amen. Eat all of it. That's right. That's right. And some old cheap, arrogant man come along. Amen. Throw that book away. What? My Lord. Let them alone. That ain't what the angel told John. No. The angel told John, no. come eat it. Come, come get it. <laughs> That's right. Eat it. Eat it. John had something else in mind. That's you right. give it to me. Give it. Give it. But the angel was steadfast. Amen. Take it. Take it. Eat it up. Take it. That's right. The angel said, take it. John take said, it. when I took it and ate it, Amen. it was in my mouth. Sweet as honey. Sweet as honey. Mm -hmm. But when it got to my belly, bitter. it was better. Bitter. That's the danger. And listen to false prophets. That's right. You may agree with them. That's right. And if he blasphemed the Bible and you said, Amen. Amen means to bear witness. That's right. That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, I didn't mean to blaspheme. You've been taught. Yeah. If you've been warned, don't play with matches. There's no need to complain after you burn your house now. That's right. A false prophet will damn you throughout eternity. Amen. You've been warned. Let them alone. Jesus said. Let them alone. Let them alone. Amen. Amen. Any time you agree to leave the book of Joshua alone, alone, and you agree that a false prophet say throw it in the trash. Right away. My Lord, my Lord. You have blasphemed. That's right. That's right. Amen. Because now, why did Samuel make reference? And why did Joshua, Joshua make reference if it's no good? That's right. I'm jump on Pastor Jennings. That's right. These old fake apostles. Amen. These a mannequin and Macy's window got more anointing. Because hmm. at least the mannequin is steadfast. <laughs> That's, right. Huh? That's right. All year round, set fast. Amen. Until somebody come along and move it. That's right. Let them alone. We are steadfast in the truth of God. Amen. Sound. Sound. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want the alarm as loud as I can. Amen. Sound. Sound. And what the book says. That's right. I would never be so arrogant. Why did God put that in there? If Ooh. that was me, I wouldn't have wrote it like that. Who are you? Who are you? Since when did less than nothing can talk? That's right. That's right. Why do we get so proud? Amen. Why do we get so much authority? That's right. That we will say to God, to God. Well, Amen. I wouldn't have wrote it like that. I wouldn't have said it like that. Who are you? Who, who are you? Who are you? That's right. That's right. Hard enough to obey it. Amen. You better leave it alone. Leave it alone. 
You brothers and sisters, I don't care if it's three of you or five of you. Leave it alone. Let them alone. All of you that said amen to the false prophet amen. who blasphemed, you agreed to his blaspheme, which means you have pleasure. You That's took right. pleasure in what he said. What he said. That's right. You're on your way to hell. Lord. I don't care if you were in the truth of God. Amen. You should Amen. have been obedient and done what the Bible says. Let them Jesus alone. Jesus is playing in his instructions. Amen. Let, let them, them let them alone. Alone. They be blind leaders. Let them alone. Let them alone. 